Yo, 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 what is up, my fallopian tubers? Cesario from the barrio coming back at you with another video for your butt. And today, just gonna go through some old Dodger vintage baseball cards. So, without Burton Mountain New, let's get right into it. Gonna start off with the 53 Bowman Kala Roy Campanella. So a lot of these cards, you know, I bought probably like 20 years ago. So, I mean, cards were, vintage was a lot cheaper back then. At the time, I thought they were still expensive. But now, 20 years later, um, they're, they seem like it was a cheap price. But that was obviously because it was 20 years ago. Well, I mean, shoot, the prices didn't change that much for, you know, like 100 years till 2020. Here we got a 53 Topps Pee Wee Reese. This is like one of the first cards I ever bought. Uh, vintage baseball cards I ever bought. You see it's a, a screw down. A lot of the cards that I used to buy back in the days were in screw downs. I would buy them from um, mainly old, older men and a few older women. Um, card dealers. Card dealers. And they had these cards forever and they were in screw downs. Now, I'd rather leave it in there than take it out. But look at this um, Pee Wee Reese and risk the slight chance of damage that there might be if you pull them out of there. But this Pee Wee Reese, clean, clean, no paper loss, no nothing. Uh, and I'm going to follow with another 54 Bowman, as that was a 54 Bowman of Pee Wee Reese of Duke Snyder. Both of them have that clean, crisp blue sky. I, I often wonder if uh, these, these were done in a you know like in a photo office or something and they had that blue background because the 51 um mickey Mantle rookie also has that clean blue sky a lot of them do but check it out another clean card i always wondered if these 54s were um pulled straight out of a pack and here's a 54 tops of the duke el duke snyder all right and this one has four written three times on here. And I, you know, I like to play Columbo um, when I see damage on cards or writing. But this one, just, I can't figure it out. So, I mean, if you're <clears throat> good at playing CSI and whatever, you're, you know, a private dick. Let me know if you think you figured out what those four means for. I know it's a 54, but I don't think it has anything with the year 54. And then uh, moving on with another 54 tops is this Jackie Robinson. Look at that. It's pretty sweet. Graded a 10, but in Puerto Rico. So I always recommend when you send your cards out to be graded, to send them to uh, Puerto Rico. They're less strict on the grades if you, as if you were to send it to the PSA in California or New York. I think they hammer you more on the grades. Uh, but in Puerto Rico, obviously, I, I, I got a 10 because there's nothing wrong with this card. All right, nothing. <laughs> Uh, we're going to move on to another Jackie Robinson, this time being the 55 Tops Jackie Robinson. Look at that. Same thing, no paper loss, decent corners, really good condition. I hate to talk about defects, but the only reason I'm talking is because it's obviously it's uh, like a miscut, as people will call it, or whatever. You know, it's just part of the printing, printing process of making baseball cards. But you can see at the bottom, it cut off a little bit from here, and it has a little bit of diamond cut. So it's the same at the top. So the top actually contains the bottom of somebody else's uh, baseball card. But this off-centering doesn't bother me. I know I, I often um, joke in my head and I think like if Double D Vintage Baseball Cards, you know there's a lot of collectors who just that, uh, do not like off-center cards, you know, you know, to each their own. So I always think like if Double D were, were to become a vampire, instead of a cross or holy water, I could just hold up a you know, a miscut card in front of him, and he'd be like, <laughs> like, you know, I could just be like, stand behind me, Satan, stand behind me, and he'd, he'd be scared, like, scared deaf, scared to death of the miscut card. It would, um, it would drive him away if he was a vampire. So next, uh, I'm going to show off the 55 Tops, Sandy Colfax Rookie. Now this card, when I got it, I had it raw forever. I mean, it's still raw, I guess. I hate when people call it, but uh, that's like the new term. Just to, it's it's just a baseball card. You know, not in a plastic prison. 
But this card, I've had it, and man, dude, that just right there, that just makes me bring out the stranger. You know what I mean? When I see that, something about that, like Upper Deck had the same thing, where it says no, uh, so did the Bowman, where it says like no professional record because they wouldn't show their minor league records and stuff like that. That just does something for me, man. But look at this card, it's clean, no paper loss, no creases, no nothing like that either. And I had this card by itself without a top loader for a long time because I've had this card for a very long time. But whenever I would show it on social media, this was before um, YouTube, people would be on my butt like, Yeah, she be in this top loader. Why don't you have it in this, you know, you know magnet, case holder, whatever they are. One touch. But it took me a long time before I really got into... Uh, Protecting your cards instead of enjoying them, but I'd rather enjoy them. My my Sandy Colfax rookie. You know how many times I've been licking, be drinking beer, smoking weed, and I do this. See, now that is authentic. I can taste the authenticity, and there's no damage to the card. I've been doing that forever. All right. So next. I'm going to show you the 56 Sandy Colfax. Sweet, sweet card. Look at that. The back is clean too. Nice 56 right there. Then we're going to go with the 56 Roy Campanella. Look at that. So the front is looks like it has like a tiny, tiny, like the weird kind of paper loss. The back is very clean though. So I wonder if this was just like in one of those old binders that that had like that acid on the paper before, like before binders were new, when binders were kind of new and the pages were new. The, the older pages that first came out, they had like an acid or something on it that would kind of chew up your card. So I wonder if this, if this is a victim of that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, next, we're going to go with the 1956 Jackie Robinson. Look at that. So all these Dodgers are still wearing Brooklyn. It's still Brooklyn Dodgers. Holla! All right. But clean, clean backs. All nice cards. All PIG 10s to me. And then we got a 57 tops Pee Wee Reese. This is also like one of the very, very first uh, vintage cards I bought because I was buying them all. I didn't care about the condition. Uh, somehow I, I, I see right through the condition. It doesn't bother me. Just the card itself. You know what I mean? Like if I could have a crash Ferrari, I'll take it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's still a Ferrari to me. But this one had like uh, crazy paper loss on the sides and... and this always baffles me because it's like the opposite color on the back, but on the edges, you see that? It almost looks like it's like the zebra parallel or something. But it has them all, it goes through on both sides. So I just, for the love of God, I cannot figure out what that is. And I think about it and I think about it, and it gives me a headache I'm trying to figure it out. All right, so next we're going to go with um, 1958. And one thing I wanted to mention about 1958 is you got this, uh, this is the 1958 Tops uh, Dodgers uh, team card. But you see on the bottom, it says 1957. Now back then, every team would take, you know, the, you know Tops would make their cards ahead of the time before the year started. So in 1958... You took a picture of the team. You used the picture that of the team that you had in 1957. But the reason the Dodgers, you know, uh, that they announced it on the Dodgers profoundly because if you go through any other team card that year, it just has their name on it. The Yankees. All right, let me see. I got another one right here. The Cubs. Whoa. The Cubs. It didn't say 1957 team. You know, like ah, my my price guys fell out of there. Ooh, knocked my cards around. But so the Dodgers was the only one that mentioned 1957. Oops, that's the Yankees. 
<laughs> the Spankies. I hate you. Uh, the reason it says 1957 on it is because they're all wearing Brooklyn hats. And in 1958, the Dodgers moved to the L.A. Coliseum to Los Angeles while their stadium was being built. So they were the L.A. Dodgers in 1958. But the only stock photo of the team that Tops had was a 57, and they're wearing their Brooklyn gear. So they they mentioned to make sure that it was the 57 Dodgers. When in reality, all, all the teams on there are from the year before. And um, if you're to look for like a t any team picture from 1958, uh, the Coliseum had benches. You know what I mean? They didn't have seats. They just had long benches. So any team of the 1958 Dodgers that you see are, have benches because the Coliseum had benches and if they were in seats it was probably it's from um, Fort, uh, Fort. <laughs> the field for before uh, okay. okay next so next we got the another a 1958 Bell brand slab of Pee Wee Reese Nice, look at that. Got this as a gift from um, the doctor. Blue Jacket 66. All right, next, let me show you guys a 1958 card. A 1959, so this one is a 58 and it has him because this is a Bell brand, all right? And he's actually wearing an LA Dodger hat. Instead of the Brooklyn. So next we got a Duke Snyder from 59. Where he's wearing the LA hat. And the 58 set he's wearing a Brooklyn hat. Even though they were playing in Los Angeles already. So sweet mustache. I put those mustaches on it a long time ago. You can tell it's just on the penny sleeve folks. So don't have a panic attack. <laughs> and next uh... We got a 1959 insert of Roy Campanella, letting you know, you know, how he was in a wheelchair. And uh, first year at the Coliseum, that's when that famous scene took ha um, happened. Uh, this card was expensive even back then. All right, so that was like the first time that people did the lighter thing at a stadium was for Roy Campanella Day when the whole stadium lit up their lighters and stuff and candles and you know matches all right and next we're moving on to some a stamp right now this stamp is from 62 tops and it's a Sandy Koufax and look at his eyes are closed like his eyes are closed in this picture it's pretty uh crazy in the back is just a blank because it's a, a stamp be sticky icky icky ooh wee all right so now i'm going to show you guys a couple just a couple discs and this video will be over folks i know it's running long but bear with me i'm hurrying up through this all right so next we got a 63 salada coin from the salada tea all right, so 63 Sandy Koufax, and I'm gonna end it here with this 64 All Star from Tops uh, coin of Sandy Koufax. Pretty sweet. The back is a little rough. It's all scratched up, but it's still a really sweet little oddball coin right there. All right, guys. So love the field. Love the feel of the hobby. Keep collecting baseball cards forever. I said, Kill! So, this is not Ebbets Field. I don't know where that's. That's probably spring training in Vero Field, Florida. All right. <laughs> and just to round it off at 15 minutes, we got this Campanella right here. Sweep from Scoops, 1961. Uh, 1976 Don Sutton 3D. Look at that, baby. Sweet. And uh, Pedro Guerrero rookie from 79. 
Sicko.